Let's get started with Word for Android Tablet. First, let's see how to get around and select things. When I need to put my cursor in an exact spot, I tap anywhere within the text. Then I tap and hold the cursor and drag it to where I need it. To select a word, I double tap. When I need to select more, I tap and drag the selection handles. And I can triple tap to select a whole paragraph. When I'm finished typing, I tap my tablet's back button to get rid of the keyboard. My back button looks like this, but yours might look something like this, depending on your tablet. If I want to scroll through my document without the keyboard popping up, I can lock it away here. Now it stays hidden and doesn't pop up while I scan through the document. If you're looking for formatting, most of the buttons are on the Home tab, like you'd expect. For example, line spacing is here. But notice that Cut, Copy, and Paste are not here. I get to those by selecting something and then tapping these three dots. Be sure to check out the other tabs as well. The Insert tab is where I can insert page numbers. In Layout, I can change margins. And on the Review tab, I can add comments and track changes. And I can switch to different views on the View tab. For more on Office for Android Tablet, visit aka.ms slash Office Android Tablet videos.